You check the current term. What he's saying is it consistent with the word of God? Yes. Now, there is a. You need the Holy Spirit. Because mm. the things of God are spiritual. Yes. What are you going to do without the Holy Spirit? You will run to and fro. You now need the Holy Spirit. First John. First John 2. That's why Jesus gave us the Holy Spirit. So that we may not be deceived. Without the Holy Spirit, you can be deceived. Easily deceived. He gave us the Holy Spirit that we may not be deceived. First John 2. Then verse 26. So if you don't have the Holy Spirit, you are in trouble. Because men are going to come and deceive you. Mm. And fall into their traps. These things I have written unto you concerning them that seduce you. <laughs> mm. There are men who seduce you there. But I've come and I've written something to help you. Mm. So that no one can seduce you anymore. No one can give you a strange doctrine. Yes. Given you, written you something. Look at what he has written. But anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you. Ye need no man to teach you. But as the anointing teacheth you all things is truth and is no lie. Even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. This is scripture now. You have to wait. it. Don't want to leave it there so much. Now it causes. Do we still need teachers? Yes. Mm. The Holy Spirit works through teachers. Mm. Works through men. Mm. What is he talking about there then? Because we have established that we still need teachers. But you say you need no men to teach. Mm. What is he talking about? The Holy Ghost. Because it means he's talking about something. Mm. What he's talking about there is this. There has to be in your spirit mm. a confirmation mm. or affirmation. Mm. When I preach or when I prophesy to you, mm. in your spirit there has to be a confirmation, affirmation. What is prophesying is the truth. There has to be a confirmation in you. Because you have received the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of the Lord and our spirits testify that we are the children of God. The Spirit of God and our spirits together they testify mm. that you are the children of God. Mm. Not only the Holy Spirit, with our spirit. There is no doubt anymore that we are the children of God. Romans. Let's go to Romans. We still need teachers. Have to emphasize this and blow the trumpet about it. <laughs> what you now need is the confirmation in you. Mm. Mm. Romans 8, verse 16. The spirit itself, or the spirit himself, bear witness with our spirits that we are the children of God. Mm. The spirit, the Holy Spirit, with our spirit. They agree. The teacher is preaching through the Holy Spirit. And in me there is a Holy Spirit. There has to be a confirmation. I'm teaching through the Holy Spirit. You are you have the Holy Spirit in you. Mm. What I'm saying is the truth, then there is a confirmation in you, in your spirit. Mm. That what I'm saying is the truth. This is what he's talking about. 